for Built for Success presented by Ram Trucks. Another marquee, one of the Pac-12, Oregon and Utah. This game comes down to simply this. It's a playoff elimination game for one of these two teams. And Utah at the bus, you got to like them in this one. But Oregon, they, they're, to me, still the most complete team in the Pac-12. They are. Well, Oregon is definitely, I think, a better team. And Oregon can match the physicality of Utah. That's going to be the difference in this game. Utah's only lost against Oregon State. Oregon State is a dominant physical defense. And so you match that physical, physical, physicality. Slow down, Sam. And then you get that offensive for Oregon. It's going to be an issue for Utah. All right, real quick, I just want to touch on the committee checking the tape yes. for Michigan. You know what else they see when they turn yeah. on the tape? The sideline going, pass, 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 pass. Run, 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 run. They wa- Come on, It's an man. ongoing investigation. Okay, it, I'm not here to defend Michigan. I'm with you on that, but right. I'm just saying. I'm ready to They're not the most complete team, though. You put them at, at five? Michigan? Yeah. All right, all right. All right, we're not going to dive back in this. They're the this. most dominant team. So how can you put them at five and have them be the most dominant team? They haven't played anybody. Quickly, Oregon, Utah, prediction and why? Uh, I like Oregon in this one because the reason Utah not loses but has lost is because they're they're going to be able to – Oregon will be able to match their physicality. That's what will happen. And so Utah won't be able to be, beat up on Oregon. And then you have Troy Franklin on the other side right there, number 11, playmaker. You have him. Belinda Coffee Wars should be on the watch list if he's not already. Top, He's been a top 50 – some people are saying top 50 when it comes to draft. And you have Tess Johnson as well as another receiver. So, yes, the run game may be stuck if Oregon can't run it, but they can throw it deep. Utah may not be able to stop it. Listen, man, if Utah could play, you know, USC every game this season, they'd be national champions yep. for the last uh, couple of years. What does Bo Nix need to do then to open up this offense and make sure those weapons on the outside and inside? Avoid Cade Nellis, NCAA sack leader. And then don't be afraid to run the ball. Yes, run the ball yep. and then take your deep shot. Keep-